those who become are those who never settle they know that there is always a better and greater version life is so for everybody but there are people one of the things that happens to men when they truly encounter god is that something happens to their name what is your name not what do you want jacob the problem with you has to do with your name what is your name have you been given a name from the spirit and he said no my name is jacob see i don't care whether his name was his name was goodness the name would still have been changed it's not because he's a cheat and a supplanter no selman means the way to love is that not a nice name who would not want to give a child a nice name like that god said what are you talking about let's talk about destiny destiny you carry the name you carry the office you carry the crown you carry the scepter every man of god that has ever prophesied to me that didn't know my name never called me my biological name never not once i remember one time i met a dear man of god he's now a dear friend somewhere and he was speaking and he looked at me. in fact not even i remember a time i think we we're going to was it been a republic I, I i think i can't remember now been a republic for a program and we were there you know all these guys that use divination that can stand in the market and start prophesying to you remember they were trying to clear our, uh, our passport at, at customs and all of that and then i stood close and he looked at me and said joshua he said you see this guy he has seen something in the spirit read your bible jesus was the man because there was no power in that name no there was no power in that name j-e-s-u-s no 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 you call him jesus how are you there's food for you so you will be surprised that many of you have been having dreams and in those dreams certain names are called you by spiritual forces they call you names and you think maybe they are talking about bible actors somewhere why are you God? is it that you don't know my name i will never forget one time i was having a dream very prophetic dream um i think i wrote it i can't remember i can't i can't even pronounce it well it was a name that was called and it was an angel of the lord who was calling god a name i checked the bible i didn't find that name anywhere but it was a name like tongues a long name <laughs> what is this i wrote i thought it was greek um, and let me tell you i studied the bible very very well i'm not a lazy person i checked it checked lexicon check everything i just saw some nonsense started coming out but rubbish some of these zodiac things i said no 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 i checked it very well i said but what is this name very long name that was called if someone introduces that name now that person is going to be in trouble what name which one he is called what what name no but the bible says there is a marvelous light allocated for a generation we thank god for what they did the goal of studying the bible is not just to stop there the goal of studying the bible is to understand god's character and by his spirit continue continue what we are living now is being recorded in heaven it will be read and there are people who will learn from it it's not just because there is no spiritual archaeology right no 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 in the heavens one day you will read there are gifts of the spirit you see operate here you may not find them exactly you can just relate them with one that is close to them i told you the gifts of the spirit are not nine they are as unlimited as the spirit himself theologically and for the purpose of of spiritual administration we focus there but there are not nine gifts of the spirit there are dimensions that the evil in this day requires the evil in the then day did not require some of these dimensions so they were sealed and left for our generation 
are we together the level of deception in our generation is too high there are other gifts that must be opened people go for war and they hide different sets of weapons based on the attack there are times that when the aggression gets bad they now that all nations of the world have certain weapons that no other nation has seen every some are hiding it in the sea some are hiding it somewhere when the going gets tough then they will bring out those arsenals that's how it is spiritually why am i saying this to us listen carefully you will find yourself walking in very deep spiritual dimensions that if you are not guided you may think it is occult or it is witchcraft and you will throw away the dealings of the spirit just because it is strange now you must be guided don't get me wrong don't dabble into all kinds of spiritual things and destroy yourself but many people have just camped around the stories of the past wonderful but brothers and sisters there is what god is doing and the bible says that we are a chosen generation we are a royal priesthood a holy nation hold on who was saying this who was saying this huh do you know who was saying this 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 was peter the apostle saying but ye who was he talking to that means he was not there but you read it now did you learn it didn't say but we but you the people i'm talking to you are a chosen generation i'm not in your generation revelations let's go to the bible let's go to the bible revelation chapter 5 revelation chapter 5 please sit down revelation chapter 5 is god helping us tonight see sometimes god just disorganizes me like this revelation chapter 5 let me show you something <laughs> let's read from verse 8 from verse 8 to 10 now look at this and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb so the four living creatures 24 elders are we together the bible says they fell down before who the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of orders which are the prayers of the saints verse 9 and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open his seals for thou was slain and had redeemed the word us there is an error the 24 elders and the four living creatures are not part of the redeemed the word there is redeem them unto god by thy blood out of every kindred talking about inhabitants on the earth out of every tongue and people and nation verse 10 and has made them not us you see the mistake again in translation and has made them unto our god kings and priests and they shall reign the 24 elders don't reign on earth come on now talk to me the four living creatures don't reign on earth they are in the throne room they minister to god translators messed up some of these things and if you don't read by the spirit you will just gather all kinds of things the bible says we have been made unto our god kings and priests and the domain of our legislation is on earth that we shall reign on earth now watch this imagine imagine with me that one of the 24 elders was reading this thing of course you would know it's not them it can't be talking about them and they'll be wondering what generation because they themselves don't know everything nobody in heaven knows everything except god they see part two and so they'll be wondering ah, which generation is this going to be fulfilled in and all of a sudden a generation comes brothers and sisters listen let me tell you there are things that will happen in our generation that have not happened before they will not be error because they have been written it is whatever was not prophesied and is done that is error you see that that it has not been done doesn't mean it has not been said there are things that will happen the coming of jesus has not happened everyone who wrote it has gone to be with the lord 
and yet it has not happened but we know and nobody will argue that it will happen because it has been prophesied so also like the coming of jesus there are many other things that have been written 